after having a disappointing draft pick to be one of the biggest stars in the NFL. Rookie cessation quarterback Aaron Markle is blowing the world away. But if he wants to step it up, he's got to play the Chiefs without DeMarco Murray. All right, what's up, guys? AJ Barker here. Welcome to episode number two of my career mode on Connected Franchise for my quarterback, Aaron Markle. If you guys saw a little intro segment right there, comment below if you guys like it. We're going to be playing the Kansas City Chiefs. And it, they have a higher overall ranking than we do, so we have to step our game up. Unfortunately, though, we lost to Marco Murray for several weeks. After he had a collarbone break in the last game, and we are in Arrowhead Stadium. And we're in, playing in Kansas City, Missouri. So it's going to be an interesting game here. Kansas City has home field advantage, so this will be interesting. Jason Garrett not clapping, and he's looking at my guy telling me you better step your game up, and somehow we're the same height, and yeah, we don't care right now. And look at this, guys. Tanner is now our running back right now, and uh, the Chiefs elect to receive, so we're on deep. They're going to be defense first, so let's go see uh, what happens next. All right, so the Chiefs do not score. So we're going to start with half bat drive, and we have Tanner taking over for... Murray, who broke his collarbone, will be out for six weeks. Last time I checked, and there's the first run of the game, and that is only about a three yard gain on the play. And Tanner, happy that he got his first carry at the second game of the season, as everyone is trying to wonder what the next thing will be. But this new rookie quarterback, Aaron Markle, who shocked the world recently with his style. And here we go. We're gonna start, and they start off. There's a quick pass to Jason Witten. And Witten gets a gets a first down and a huge one. 36 yards on the pass. Still showing that power arm that he had. And EA Sports looks over and he makes a great catch. So as at, at the Chief fans are in horror to seeing that this young quarterback who was actually overlooked in the draft pick has has come out of nowhere and Tanner does a little move maneuver but he gets back to but to the line of scrimmage he doesn't have the same wit as Murray a little backstory about this guy as I was shown he was a guy who was seriously overlooked in the draft and people didn't think he would make it and now he's shocking the world breaking records and throwing some hot passes to good receivers he recently lost some weight too he actually took a took some workouts with the team and lost some big weight and Brian just knocked down the defender right there so now we're now they're, they're trying to do some more running because they don't want the defense to catch on because our offensive line definitely is not the best all the time and Tanner's gonna try and run up the middle he gets up the middle and he gets and he gets away and they will say he's short about a yard he already has three rushes 12 yards on the yard so we're gonna be trying to make them run and I hopefully my guy could still make Take some some pride in records and get a few touchdowns to passing. And Tanner gets a few more yards and gets a first down. And that is a, a, a small game, but they're on the 11. And Andy Reid is furious. This is the same Andy Reid that will win a couple of Super Bowls with the Chiefs in real life. So we have to keep that into consideration whenever we're playing Andy Reid. The quick throw. The, oh, intercepted his second interception of his, of his season. And he had touchback. And they failed to capitalize on that, so they're going, we're going to try and pass again. But if I were the quarterback, I'm not too happy with myself. They stopped. They got a key inter interception right there. So we're going to quick pass to Austin. Oh my goodness, they wrecked him. That was not what we wanted to see right there. So now we have. Now they're going to make the run us run again. The Chiefs' defense is really stepping their game up, which is a lot more than what I can say about the Giants. And Tanner pushes one guy away, and he gets a few more yards. Eight-yard run. So they're, now this, they're going to say we're, we're going to do a pass because we do not want them to take advantage of another, what you will call a, a missed opportunity. And Merrick makes his first catch, and that is... Now four and one, and despite the quick pass, Barry is right on our defense. So it was a good pass right there. But fortunately, he was right there. The defense was right there. So um, we're just gonna have to open the play call real quick. And they're saying punt. Um, 
We're gonna take the risk and we're gonna have to go with a go for it here. It's time to let the world know that my quarterback can get through the, this tough defense. And the throw to Bryant, and they dropped it. So it's turnover on downs. And I'm my guy is mad. This is not his best game so far. And the Chiefs strike early with a seven nothing lead. So the Cowboys are down seven nothing, and people might say this guy is a fluke. So let's see if we can watch. Let's see if we can prove them wrong right here. Here we go. Fake. It's a fake. And there's no. There's one guy for Brian. Brian makes a big catch. He will run down the sideline and he will go into the red zone. And there's an injury timeout. And it's Des Bryant. That is not good, people. We do not need any more injuries. So we got Harris taking over. And this looks looks like we're gonna have to watch it. Quick throw. First down for Austin and touchdown! Ninth passing touchdown of the season. And the Cowboys. Are going to tie this game up. Okay, it is a tie game. We are we're trying to, we're, to be hopeful here. And Brian is back in the lineup, thank goodness. So, Brian, so we don't have to worry too much about losing him this time. And there's Tanner running through in the middle, and he gets a five yard gain on the play. In six rush, he's already ran 29 yards. So, it, so it's already looking promising that the, that the Cowboys could somehow run, run over these guys. All right, that's a play action, a quick throw, deep one, and they drop it. They, that was a drop. So, another drop pass. Despite the deep throw, the Chiefs had a chance to make a catch, and they drop it, so that was third and five. And here it, and here we, and here come the Cowboys. There's Witten with the catch, and the second catch of the game, and the Cowboys are on the 49. Fit, so already... The Cowboys are saying we're gonna start. We're gonna show you what we're made of. And as my as the rookie Aaron Markle is is going to, is showing everyone what he's made of, and Tanner tries to run and he gets not back to the line. You know what I can say about Tanner? He we haven't lost any yards since on his running, so that's a good sign. Now here's and now they're gonna and now and now no one's watching Tanner and that and now he makes a throw and he runs right. Right in there, and he gets about a nine-yard gain on the play. A quick pass right there, and he's doing some small ones, so that's a good th good play right there to avoid everything. However, the Cowboys are one for two in third down conversions right now, so that's not what you want. Expect to want to see if you're not expecting to, and he gets a first down and a little bit more. Eight rushes, 40 yards in the first quarter. And Tanner is saying, hey, DeMarco Murray who? And he's just running. And Des Bryant, who has been targeted, unfortunately, the defense has been all over him. So, so, and as of right now, though, if I were the Cowboys, I would focus on trying to not pass to the main guys and start throwing to small ones. Unfortunately, though, they are right over it. Second and ten. It's this is going to be a tough, tough game with their defense all over. So if if we have a lead, we better pray we keep it. And here we go. A quick throw, Bryant, and he's gonna try and run, and he gets only like a two-yard gain on the play. So my guy, eight for 13, 165 yards though, which is only like one. And Bryant made, however, has made 89 receiving yards thus far. And a quick throw to Harris. Harris makes the catch, and a first down for Dallas. His first reception is a 15-yard catch, and the Chiefs are not stopping them that well right now the Cowboys running game is eating up the clock a lot so this might this will be a tight game and there's a run Tanner tries to run through and he does not and he doesn't get doesn't get through and the offensive line is not happy it's second and 11 right now and they're saying we want another run and we do not want to do another run because they think it rocked us last time so we gotta watch that and quick throw, that's Witten again, and he gets a first down! A huge first down, and now they're near the goal line. Witten with his third receive catch at the game, and that even t makes Tony Romo impressed. And it looks like they're going to try and run again for the end zone. Tanner looking for to score a touchdown on the end zone, and, Mar and here we go, and touchdown Dallas, and they take the lead! And the Giant himself has helped the Cowboys rally down the field with the help of Tanner and the run game. And now the Cowboys have a chance to take the lead, make it, and we get there. And now 
It is second quarter, and the, the Chiefs apparently did not get very lucky, and they, the Cowboys get, are on to 35. It, Tanner's going to start off a run. He goes up the middle, and he gets a few good yards there, and that's an eight, nine-yard gain on the play. So a huge gain on the play, and the Cowboys are going to crush down the field. Now, it looks like they're going to the right a bit, so we got to just... So we gotta throw him off a little bit. All right, quick throw, and that's Miles Austin again, and a huge first down again, second receiving catch of the game. And the giant, the giant that's my guy, he's right, right through it. Alex Smith is just watching. He, despite the one interception in the game, they, he has already thrown over 214 yards thus far. A deep one, it's gonna be, oh, Austin did not get there. Eric Berry, I think, is the, I think it's Eric Berry there, but let's see where that was. Yep, yeah, it's Eric Berry, number 24, I think, if I'm wrong, comment below. It looks like the Cowboys are, despite the deep, are, they're so used to the deep pass right there, so they're trying to watch it, and, uh, oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Ooh, that looks like pass interference on that one, buddy. Ah, uh, he, because he was going for it, and they, and the guy jumped and pushed him down, so that, I don't know what to say. Despite that one miss on third down conversions, we have taken advantage of it. And there's a one to Witten again. Witten is making the great catches today. Four reception, 80 yards already. And now Brian makes the catch at a first down, and he is short of a touchdown. He's already made four receiving yards, 100 catches, excuse me, 106 yards. Des Bryant is going to be a pain. So, already got 100 yards. Looks like they're going to try. It looks like they're going to try for a touchdown here. It's, this is this is a situation where it's a do or die. A touchdown, Dallas! Tenth touchdown pass of the season for the young rookie. And, and Witten is happy with him. Andy Reid is shocked that the former rival, since he was the Eagles coach, is, is basically shocked. And Garrett is not clapping. Thank you you very much when held on to the football despite the defense crawling on him like snakes and stopped him and the cowboys great the cowboys once again to hold off the defense looks and now we're on the 39 looks like looks like the cheese have no answer for the cowboys right now they're expecting a pass looks like but here's tanner going up the middle he pushes and there is a middle blitz but three yard gain on the play for tanner here's the thing he may not be a demarco murray but he certainly is still good on the running game for Dallas. And here, here we go. Here we go. Watching, 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 watching defense. They're not they're not focused on the right so far. And Tanner makes the catch. Try to spin move and gets a five-yard gain on on the pass catch. And one and so far, it has been all Dallas after the Chiefs got aggressive early on. And I think fans are livid at Arrowhead Stadium. One of the loudest stadiums in the NFL. And oh my goodness. We should never have done that run. And the Chiefs could try to get down the field, but they could not get score. And the Cowboys lead 21-7 with a huge opportunity to blow the lead further. Harris will make a jumping catch, but a one-yard gain. 255 yards so far. And so, and right now the Cowboy fans are watching at home, seeing their team with a promising lead, but they can't afford to blow it blow it and a quick throw to hannah and they were right there terrence williams on the field right now he'll see if he could get a first down and he will not great we're gonna call a timeout right now i am not happy with how this team's going right now we're gonna have to, let's try to go for it again because i am mad my guy's mad he will be mad because because the team's failing to do their job and brian with a huge catch and he will fight off and go out of bounds that's revenge from the last time they went for it, and they succeeded this time, and the Chief fans are absolutely livid. Trying to get into the red zone. That's a quick throw. That's Miles Austin. Touchdown! This 10th passy touchdown of the season. And Cowboy fans are jumping for joy on their couches as the Cowboy faithful has proven to the world they are not a fluke. And the Chiefs have scored another touchdown, but unfortunately, though, it's going to take a miracle to keep up with the Cowboys' hot offense. A team that scored 93 points in the first game against their rivals, the Giants. Tanner is trying to run around, and they get him behind the line. Chief fans are happy that they're getting 
a mass advantage on the run blitz. But, but they gotta be watching on the passing, especially with Witten. Speaking of him, and uh, he just crushed a few and ran ran over 170 yards on passing catches. This is why the Cowboy fans are happy to see all sorts of catches by their wide receivers. Wide receivers beware. And Tanner's gonna try Tanner's gonna try and run it and they are all over him right now. 15 carries for nine yards. His longest run was 11 yards, so he's definitely going to Marco Murray. And it's, it's a wide open, Harris. And what happened? Oh, he broke ankles. Harris running down there, and he will get touchdown Dallas. They call it a touchdown. They took advantage of Harris. He just smashes their guitar and scores a massive touchdown. All uh, right, 35 14 and it is a massive upset for Chiefs fans. They who saw their team won opening day game only to see them get crushed by the hot Dallas Cowboys. It's a deep one and they were right over Miles Austin. Hot defense right there. So that is gonna that was a tough one. Hannah's got there's a catch to Hannah and he dropped the ball. What the hey? It seems like no matter what they try to do, the de the defense seems to be be let down on their path them down on passing and there's a quick one Hannah redeems himself runs down one and gets tackled down but he makes it up for dropping a couple by getting a 27 yard catch the Cowboys fullback was gonna run and he gets a first down and a little bit more Harris is watching Williams is hoping to get a big catch here a quick throw to, to Terrence Williams and they jump they drop it here we go he goes to run and he goes around a few he gets a few yards and he gets about an eight yard gain on the play the Cowboy faithful watch their offensive line is ready they're, they're hoping for a catch from Austin or Bryant here we go quick it's a quick throw Bryant dropped he, it went off his hands Cowboys will go for a field goal here to make it 38 to 14 despite it was a good throw to Bryant, but the defense was right all over, and Romo holds the kick, and they make it. It is now 38-14, Dallas, and there's, there's some fans that want to see a touchdown instead, but they'll take it. Dan Bailey, one of the most concise kickers in the league. And the Chiefs also get a field goal. With, there's a 1 minute 23 seconds on the clock. The Chiefs were able to receive the first last time, so they're going to so see some action. And a quick throw because no one was get Harris. No one was defending Harris, and he gets a first down. And he already has 450 passing yards in the first half alone. And a quick pass here to Bryant, who knocks one guy down to pass the first down marker. Quick deep pass, and that's Terrence Williams at the oh wow! Oh man, he had lost control of the ball. No. What in the world happened there? Armstrong there got passed from him before he does now. And he rocks one, two, and ticked three guys to get him. And that is a message. That he will pass to anybody. There's going to be a deep pass right there. And that's a wide open. Armstrong again. And here, here we go. Bryant Williams. Who the heck knows? And there's a one pass. And it's dropped. We're going to see who's, who's it going to be. It's a deep one. Harris again. And he tries to run. And they just swamp him. But it's first and goal. Quick throw. Tut. No. Injury timeout again for Dez Bryant. He's holding his arm, his shoulder. Not good. We do not want to lose Dez Bryant. He already has, in the first half alone, over 500 yards. And uh, he was blocking, so unfortunately that would that would not have done anything. And here, Terrence Williams again. And they, oh, he, he went to Harris. Touchdown. T second touchdown for Harris and number 11 of the passing touchdowns for the unexpected rookie in his season. And we have just passed halftime with a score 45 17. And I do not see Des Bryant out in the field. That's not good. Looks like Terrence Williams is going to be taking over some of the snaps. And here's a quick pass to Terrence Williams. And they reached your hand out, and he, and the ball gets knocked down. Quick throw, and they were not spending Harris again. He makes another, and he makes a catch. Seven-yard gain on the play, and Chiefs fans are just watching as this guy has already over 500 passing yards. He passed over 600 in the last game, so they they probably are just watching, seeing what he can do. That's Terrence Williams again. First down, and a quick throw. That's Austin, and he eludes 
some more receivers and goes out of bounds. Look at this. 553 yards, five passing touchdowns. To wait, total of 13. My bad. I miscalculated his touchdown ratio. My bad. And there's Tanner. Seeing that everyone's falling apart and Barry couldn't get him. And Tanner with his longest rushing of, of the season just gets a huge first down. On the 14, red zone again. The Cowboys have just said to the world, we are not a joke. And it looks like they're doing the, what you will call, the, what's it called? I forgot what it's called, but either way, Randall tries to get through and they tried the j jet and uh, that didn't work. Cowboy fans are hoping the offensive line can help Tanner get 100 yards. This in, and Tanner's trying to get through and whoa, easy. Jeez, that wasn't what they wanted. It looks like the Cowboys fans, fan base are probably screaming at their TV what they just saw right there. And here's the deep one. That's Harris again. Touchdown. Harris again. He has stepped up with Aldez Bryant. So a huge play right there. And it looks like the Chiefs have nothing to show for a second half so far. As they have failed to score in the first five minutes of the, of the third quarter. And here's and Randall's taking over for Tanner so far. Randall running up the middle and he gets a few yards right there. He gets eight yards on his first rush. Joseph Randall, uh, who is a third string, went up to second string after the injury of Demar Murray. Tanner's back out in the field, and here, and here we go. It's a wait a minute. Austin's su surprising everyone with his running skills. What in the world? 16-yard rush? I don't think anybody saw that coming. That was, I will admit, I never saw that 100% coming myself. I thought he was probably getting like five, six, seven, but 16? Goodness. Tanner's told me to get 100 yards for the rushing, and they, they get a few blocks there and a huge rush, and he has got 20 rushes and 86 yards. He is 14 yards from 100 rushing yards, but he's exhausted, so Joseph Randall will take over for him with three yards to the first down, and... Everybody's a maniac, looks like. And there is a first down by Joseph Randall. Eric Berry has made his seventh tackle of the game. And Randy Reed is yelling out the plays, looks like. Because he doesn't have his headset on. Don't ask me why he doesn't have a headset. I don't know why the coach don't really have a headset. And here, here we go. Again, Randall trying to run around. And he is getting smoked. Three-yard gain on the play. And, they are, and the Cowboy fans who are watching at home are happy. Bill Tanner, 20 carries, 86 yards, and see if they, and it looks like they're expecting a deep pass. And there's one guy after Tanner, and Tanner moves him out of the way, and he gets out of bounds with a only one yard gain. And it looks like everyone's expecting him to go deep next time. They better he better go deep. He needs to go deep. Because this is a do or die situation. Eight for twelve on third down conversions, so it's a, they do a fake, and that's just this one to Terrence Williams. First down, and that is huge. Uh, this is this is out of this world so far. And there's a game plan. There's Williams with 26 receiving yards thus far, but he's hoping and craving for a whole lot more. There's a, and there's a deep pass for the end zone. Touchdown, Terrence Williams! Oh, my goodness! A huge touchdown. The Chiefs finally score another touchdown. It's now 59-24. This offense by the Cowboys, however, is out of this world. Tanner is, is still a few yards away from 100. Can he do it? He's going to run up the middle, and he got one yard on the play. He really needs to work on finding the holes. He looks tired. I don't blame him. And here we go. Here we go again. Harris. Williams, Austin, who who's gonna get it? That's the game. That's the name of the play. It's Witten, and he gets a first down. 120 receiving yards on seven receptions by Jason Witten. He's gonna be one of the greatest. He will be one of the greatest. And here we go again. Let's watch. And everyone's looks like looks like everyone's gonna expect to go to the right. It's going to the right. It's a deep one and dropped. If he gets a deep pass. Then next thing you know, it's go time. It's a deep, it's another deep one, and Austin couldn't even handle it because their defense is right there. So it's third and ten, and they're going they're going to do a pass again, but 
9 for 13 right now in third down conversions. And here we go. Let's watch. Don't mind me. Just watch. And Williams makes the catch. And another injury timeout. And Williams is hurt. Looks like he got shaken up. All right. Who's... In? All right. Now, now we're in trouble right now. And the, and the Cowboys are going to... Are hoping to not see another injury again. That's... And Witten gets the catch. Uh, they call... And they get a first down on that one. Can't, looks like history might be made here for the Dallas Cowboys quarterback rookie. And looks like there's a timeout called by the Chiefs. The ruling on the... Oh, they ruled... They threw a challenge flag, so the ruling on the field's overturned. So that, so that didn't go as planned. So it's still the same area despite the challenge. And here we go. Quick throw to Austin. They hate me. And the Chiefs get in our touchdown, but they still have a long way to go. But we lost quite a few due to injuries. Brian is out, and it doesn't look too promising. They are, okay, not throwing Austin for a while until we can get our, they can figure a way to shake off those defenders. And 647 yards. He is three yards away to break his own record. Quick throw. That's Austin, and he got it. We got to pay quick, quick pass, and that's, Ah, too much. I gave him too much time on that one. That's why they got to that one. Never give a guy too much time for those passes. Otherwise, it'll give a defender a lot of time to anticipate where it's going to be thrown, and then he will get it thrown. And now Her Tanner runs in, and he gets a few more yards. He is five yards away from 100 yards. And Cowboys are... And there's the end of the third quarter. My voice is getting tired already. Because I've been talking so much. And everyone's giving them a reprieve for now. Hoping that they can see some improvements on their other guys. Alright, here we go. Start off the fourth quarter on third and three. Here we, here we go. We're, we're watching. We watch you. And Tanner gets a first down and a little more. And Phil Tanner is averaging 6.6 .6 yards. He is Now, let's see if he can get a hot pass 100 yards. Here he goes. He gets a round. He gets a war. And he gets a first down. He gets past 100 rushing yards. There's Tanner again. He gets a few run yards. And he's pushing a guy. And they push him right down. Four yards. Dan J There's a lot of tackles on the defense for the Chiefs. But they are not showing for it So on when it comes to their offensive stop. Because they're past, despite them stopping a few pa big passes here, here and there, it's not enough. And Escobar catches it. And a first down. His Gavin Escobar, may he rest in peace in real life, has made another key play. 675 yards, 25 away from 700 yards. And Joseph Randall is trying to run it, and he gets only two yards of the play. A lot of tackles today by the Chiefs. And here we go again. We're watching. We watching. We watching. We watching. We watching. And we're watching everything and here's Randall and there we use wide open they didn't stop him until he now first down again I think everything was, that went wrong for the Chiefs has officially gone wrong because they could not cannot stop a hot cowboy offense there's Armstrong and he makes the catch touchdown new NFL record 689 passing yards for the rookie his second straight game with breaking the record. Okay, they failed to score on that one. And here come the Cowboys once again. 66-31 against the Chiefs. The Cowboys have sh are shocking everybody. And Tanner's running around. Gets a first down and he's got one guy to beat. And that's a first down and a whopping 26 rushing attempts on 129 yards. Andy Reid is yelling out through his glasses somehow, and he that helps. Joseph Randall, five carries, 27 yards. He might be, he's due for more. He is due for more carries. And there he goes again, and they're, they're blocking some Chiefs players. He's running. He's got one guy to beat, and he will not get past but that guy, but he gets out of bounds and gets a big rush. On the 36th so far, looks like Andy Reid's like, hey! You got Waterburger here? <laughs> I'm sorry, I had to. And and looks like the looks like Cowboy Faithful, you have nothing to worry about. Escobar with another catch. He's pushing some guys and he gets a first down. 
Way to go! Everything that's falling apart for the Chiefs is still falling apart. And here he is. 702 yards. He currently has eight received touchdowns again. And a quick throw. And whoa! Dropped. He took he took too long on the pass there. That was a, that's on me. He should have should have scrambled a little bit. But that's okay. And it looks like looks like there's a lot of fan, Pete fans probably will have to leave the stadium because they do not want to spend all their hard-earned money to see their team lose a deep one. Touchdown! Another new record! Nine passing touchdowns today! He's unstoppable! Evidently, so are the Chief fans a little bit. But they get a field goal. It is now 73-34 in this game. That everyone did expected an unexpected shakeup without DeMarco Murray. We lost Terrence Williams and Des Bryant for a little bit, and everything that would have gone wrong with the Cowboys has not because they are still relying on their depth chart, and they're still relying on their passing, and they're still relying on teamwork. To see if their offensive line can help still handle the aggressive Chiefs as they're trying to stop him. Here comes here goes Tanner again. He does a spin around and he gets a seven yard gain on the play. And oh, woo wee. Oh yeah. Cowboy fans. <laughs> Dave, we're hoping for a Super Bowl. I think there's a chance they'll get it this year. Even though it's only the second game, and I know fans, like some people say they're delusional. I can understand why. Hannah with the catch, by the way. And a first down. That's right. Happy, happy, happy. I'm a happy guy. I'm clapping like Garrett. That's not good. Ugh. No matter. We'll, we'll take it. 736 yards. And that's... I bet everyone's probably freaking mad right now. And a quick throw over everybody. He still dropped it. <sighs> okay. That one's not my fault. That is not my fault because I threw it to him. He was supposed to catch it. He did not catch it. And that's just not good. That means he dropped it. I see Beasley. He's chuck Look, let's see if Beasley can make a catch. He will. Oh, my goodness. Beasley. Catch it. Oh, my goodness. I, I had you wide open. My guy. And Beasley's back out there again. Let's see if I can be a little quick with him next time because I really want him to catch a ball. Because I believe, but if he's on, the, all right, he's wide open, I think, and oh my goodness, Beasley. Ah, Beasley, I get, I attempt for you, and you have not been successful for me. Goodness. Let's try, what's uh this punt. And the Chiefs do not get another scoring opportunity as, as I back out in the field. It looks like they have, looks like a massive play happened here that they did not get a chance to make it. There's... Tanner makes a quick catch. Seven yard gain. And here we go again. We're nearing the end zone. And there's and there's a Armstrong Harris and a few others. And quick throw. Armstrong had it and he dropped it. Dude! I could catch that too. You have gloves. There is no excuse for you not to catch that. Oh my goodness. It's like, I feel like, it feels like Dallas Cowboys are real life. They're yelling at their screens, telling the guys to catch the football, for goodness sake. And I think something happened where I tried to make a quick throw, and, ah. Looks like we're going to have to go for another field goal. Here we go. I'm about to make it 76-34, to 34 Cowboys, on this field goal kick. Here we go. If you guys can hurry up here, thank you very much, and it's good. There's no, yeah, block on that. No thanks. Second, I mean, that was easy field goal, so there, there's nothing to stop that. And the Chiefs go all out again as they have failed to stop a very hot defense for the Cowboys and a very intense offense. Tanner again running, and he gets up the middle. He gets a few yards on that. Five-yard gain, 141 rushing yards. And the, and the Cowboy fan and are... We're going to be happy, happy, happy. I'll stop. <laughs> I say that because I know about that meme, and it's pretty bad. And Escobar with the catch. A good catch right there. And the Cowboys get a first down. Gavin Escobar, who has 32 passing yards, well, has, was able to catch it. And there's Randall trying to spin. He gets around, and he gets a first down, and he is 
Crash into his own teammate? <laughs> Harris, what were you doing, my guy? Here we go. Randall again. He is swallowed up with three yard gain. And they're a few seconds away from uh, two minute warning. We get two minute warning. And the Chiefs are going to get their water break along with the Cowboys. And that's how it goes. And. Garrett not clapping because I think I went to I secretly went to Jerry Jones and told him stop letting Jason Garrett clap and he stopped clapping ever since and we're gonna run and a quick throw right there and Hannah gets a first down and a little more I, that shows my guy's aggressive he will throw the ball he will pass and Hannah with 51 receiving yards so far and all right there's there's no one open on up oh, quick throw and my well on the plus side that's the first time i got sacked 768 receiving yards just 32 yards until he gets to 800 that's a deep one can he do it oh no that's flowers for that second session of the game and uh and that's a that has a second carry session he caught so flowers is the guy on defense and he was right over, over that and the chiefs once again failed to take up on that and here is and this is going to be probably the last few runs of the game so if they're on the 35 here we go and randall's going to run and he gets a and he gets about only four yards everyone wants to see this game and they if you're a chiefs man you want skin to end in the favor of your team and looks like a quick throw let Lutuce here makes a catch whoa he makes his first that was the first catch he has made but I, I'm making it a habit to pass to different guys so that way they will never know who or what is gonna catch the ball that's what that's that's why it makes a team great I know it sounds like frosted flakes a little bit and a quick throw and upsie daisy we will go for a field goal here, so this will be the last scoring of this game, and the Chiefs fans are shook because their team got wrecked. There's one up in the air, and that's that is the ball game, ladies and gentlemen. 79-34 is the final score, and look at this. The fans have left the stadium. They were humiliated. Let's go look at the news. And Des Bryant is out for the to start off. That is not good. Another offensive display. Uh, to Skip Bayes once again being his typical self, and a lot of people are happy to see some of the some of the greatest in history. Thank you for watching, guys. If you guys enjoyed, be sure to like, share, and subscribe, and be sure to comment below. Cowboys for the Super Bowl. I'll see you next time. God bless you, Rob. Don't forget it.